Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new releases video for you. I'm gonna try and keep it a one take video because I have a feeling the battery on this camera is going to die. I'm sitting here, I have my coffee from my Luke's mug, you can't really see it. Um, don't wanna spill my coffee. From um, the Introvert Crafter, I will leave that in the description box down below and I just wanna go through all the new releases with you. So I have one regular sheet three note page kits and two full kits, including one completely original collection that you guys are gonna get excited about. So I'll start with the single sheet first. I finally made a sheet that you have to zoom in on apparently. I finally made just some word type stickers. Um, these are pretty, um, what's it called? They're pretty um, selfish of me because they're all YouTube related. So you have film, edit, upload, and voiceover. And I've been wanting to make typography stickers for a while. I know that a lot of shops have them, but I just really wanted to make them for myself and I finally did. So we have that sheet. My battery is flashing now. <laughs> Uh, the next kit that we have is a notes page kit and it is the finances notes page kit. And this might be a little bit hard to see, but the header says, where'd all my money go? This 2017 savings goal goes down the bottom of your planner and you have a space for a date, money in or out and balance. And then you have two rows. I did do 12 spaces for the year. And then this giant sticker will be quite hard to see. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more for you. I'm really sad that my battery's flashing. So we have a bill, date due, and then you have January through December, so you can either tick when it's paid or you can write down how much it costs or anything like that. That one is pretty um, biased as well because I every time I sit down to film a plan with me, I never know if I have bills that week. So I'm just going to show you. This is what it looks like in the planner. I think on my 2017 wish list is a camera that autofocuses. <laughs> So this is what it looks like in the planner. Um, I absolutely love it. It's marble in the background, so it's quite neutral. And I just find this is going to be probably the most useful of my notes page kits that I came out with so far. So the next notes page kit I have is a TV tracker. And you guys really, really wanted a TV tracker. I was at a loss as to like what you wanted on a TV tracker. So this is what I came up with. So I made the background of the header, the Netflix box from the Gilmore Girls kit. And I said, I need to stop. I whispered to myself as I clicked next episode. I just think that's really funny. Um, so that's the header. At the bottom here, I have new shows for next year. So if you have a new show coming out, you can write what it's called and the date that it comes out. And then for the big middle box, this is actually two, so it's like columns. Um, we have the kind of actual TV tracker. So you have a place to write the name of the show, what season, you can tick off when you've seen each episode, um, what rating you would give it, and when the next season starts. So you have 10 spaces here. I couldn't fit any more, unfortunately, because there's only so big I can put my sheets for them to fit in my mailers. But this is what it looks like all in the planner, and I think it actually looks really cool. I don't know if I'll be using this one myself, but I know a lot of people in my Facebook group are really, really excited for it. And for binging seasons, I think that it would be really, really good because sometimes if you binge too many seasons in like at one time, you might lose track of what episode you're on. So I think that this would come in really, really handy. The next notes page kit I have is the March monthly notes pages kit. And I did reformat this a little bit and you will see in the sheets. So the header is still the same. It says March, every moment matters. You still have the currently section because I love that section, so I'm not getting rid of it. And then you have a space here, which is new for bills. So you have the bill, amount due, date due, and a little box to check off when you've paid it. And then you still have the word of, a mo word of the month. You have a long checklist here, which I did leave blank for you to do with what you wish. And then for the bottom here, you have a March at a glance, and then you have a bunch of spaces here, which I'm envisioning will be for important dates, but obviously you can use it for whatever you want. Um, I really, really like this reformat. I think it looks 10 times better than my old mo March monthly kits. Um, so this is what it looks like in the planner. I like just how simple it is. And again, this does kind of match, not like 100% because obviously it actually matches way more in person than it does on the camera. Um, 
But I just kind of like how simple it is. I've seen a lot of people have come out with note pages lately and they're just kind of a little bit busy. And I just like how simple this is. I feel like the planner community needs to go back to simplicity with what we started with. I feel like that's kind of what I'm missing these days in the planner community. So I'm happy that this is staying simple and what it is. So I hope you guys like that. The January notes pages kit will be retiring on February 1st. So the last day to pick that up will be January 31st. So definitely get your hands on that if you do want one. This is what it looks like. It is a little bit different than the March one and the February one is still available too, but I don't have that in there yet. So that is the March notes pages kit and I really, really love that. And I actually love this green too. And I'm not normally a green person, but I really like that green. Okay, so I put a new battery in my camera, so we are good to go. So I'm gonna start off with, whoa, sneak peek. I'm gonna start off with the kit that isn't 100% completely original, um, drawn by Mr. Popco sitting to my right here. Um, I'm gonna start off with Peter's Garden, which I did sneak peek on Instagram, and you guys absolutely loved it, which so do I, I understand. So this is Peter's Garden and it is the kit that I'm going to be using for Easter. And I know Julie in the Facebook group was like Easter. Oh my God, it's not even February. But like as a business, you do kind of have to think ahead and you have to think about those things. So I'm gonna turn the brightness down just a little bit so you can see the pastel colors a little bit better. But this is the date cover sheet. So you have Monday through Sunday as usual with this gorgeous floral pattern in the background. You have the glitter headers. You have the functional page. And I did bring in some of the patterns into like the movie marquee, the planner, the coffee cup. And I just think that looks really, really cute. So I wanted to keep the colors really pastel because I wanted this to like scream spring. And I don't know, you should be able to see it, but that's like a really light cream. And it just looks really, really beautiful in person. These are the gorgeous, gorgeous full boxes. And when I saw this clip art, um, a few weeks ago I saw it, I was like, I have to do a kit with this clip art. And I just wanted to get it out ASAP. So you have little, little Peter Rabbit in his garden with a bunch of flowers. And I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. And the quote says, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. And I just thought that was really nice. Then you have your headers and your little things. You have your ombre heart checklists. You have your half boxes and sidebar sheet. And then you have your washi sheet. And for this kit, I did take out the long strip of washi here and I put in some deco because I know you guys like deco and I like to put it in whenever I can. So you have three different patterns of washi, your bottom washi and some deco here. So that is Peter's garden. And like I said, I am gonna be using that as my Easter kit because I don't know, I'm really about not like screaming like in your face when a kit is for the holidays. Like with my St. Patrick's Day kit, it's very floral and it's green and there are elements of Ireland in there, but I just didn't want to scream like St. Patrick's Day or Easter with all that like kind of cheesy stuff. So I'm really happy with that and hopefully I can continue that for the rest of the year. But that's not what you're here for. You're here for the Beauty and the Beast kit and I know that's what you're here for. So we are gonna talk about that right now. So the Beauty and the Beast kit I showed in full yesterday on my Facebook group. If you haven't joined that, I will leave a link in the description box down below. Um, it's really fun. We talk and they kind of kept me company last night when I was making listings for new releases and it was fun. So yeah, I explained on the video that the print quality on regular mat just wasn't up to par with what we wanted this kit to be. And we decided to release this kit on premium mat and glossy only. So the premium mat, the colors are a lot more vibrant. The like paper itself is a lot like smoother. Um, I know a few people had questions about pens. I've tried my Sharpie pen and my Inkjoy gel and they do not smear. Um, that's all I had on hand. I'm presuming if the Sharpie pen doesn't smear, then the Stadlers won't smear, but I cannot be 100% sure. But I had to release this kit on premium matte. Like color wise, there's no um, comparison between premium matte and regular matte. Um, you will see why because it's quite dark. It's very different from Peter's Garden, but I'll shut up talking. Um, <laughs> the premium matte kit will be the same price as the regular matte kit too, because I know a lot of people in my Facebook group were worried about the price difference that premium matte would bring if I decided to switch it out. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the kit. So. 
This is the kit that we have come up with for Beauty and the Beast. This is 100% hand drawn by my hubby sitting over there. We call him Mr. Popco and it is it is insane. So the first sheet that we have is the date cover-ups and you just have Monday through Sunday as usual and you have this gorgeous rose in the corner. You can see that a lot of the colors are quite dark but we wanted to kind of keep it that way. You have your glitter headers, you have your functional sheets, so you can see like the color scheme that we decided to go with. It was quite hard to come up with a color scheme for this kit because the hand-drawn elements are so gorgeous that if you put them on like the typical like Beauty and the Beast colors, it just didn't do it justice. So we decided to go quite dark, um, but we did put the rose pattern in the coffee cup, the planner and the movie marquee. And I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And this is, I hope you can see it on camera, but it's like a kind of faux foil gold. Are you ready for the full boxes? I'm gonna make sure that they're they're the right way around. I think we should zoom in for this. <laughs> and I'm not even overhyping it. Like, that's the funny thing. Okay. Bam! Full boxes. How insane are these? So, going from left to right, you have little chip here with a space just to kind of like write in whatever you want. You have your quote box that says, I have want adventure in a great wide somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. And you have this gorgeous faded rose in the back. You have the top of Lumiere's head. You have Emma Watson. There was a still that was released with Emma Watson. I think it was from the trailer with Emma Watson, like looking at the rose um, and coming into focus. And that's kind of what Gary based that on. It's, oh, it's so stunning. Then you have kind of the same concept here with the beast behind the rose, but instead of the rose being in fo out of focus, the beast is out of focus. So he is supposed to be blurry and the rose is in focus. Then you have Cogsworth, you have Mrs. Potts and Chip that says you don't lose hope, love. If you do, you lose everything. And then you have Belle in her yellow dress holding a rose. And I just think this is, <laughs> I can't stop staring at it. It's just, it's just the most beautiful kit that I think I've ever seen. Beauty and the Beast or otherwise, it's just the most beautiful kit. And these colors are popping off of this paper. Like you have no idea. I think I threw out the regular matte test print that we did, but oh my God, like you have no idea. Gary actually, Gary has them here. Oh crap, I broke them. How did you connect them? <laughs> so Gary has them here. This is printed on the regular matte paper and you can see he like cut them up obviously, but you can see that there's no comparison. Like the color is just pop 10 times more on the premium matte. So we had to release it on the premium mat. So hope that's okay. Um, we have the ombre heart checklists, have the headers and little things, the half boxes page and sidebars. And then you have the washi. And for the washi, I wanted to keep it simple because you guys really, really liked the simple washi in the Gilmore Girls kit. So I decided to go with simple with roses in the corner. So it says tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. And then you have some washi strips here as well. So that is the Beauty and the Beast kit. Like I said, I think it's the most beautiful kit that I've ever seen on Etsy or on Shopify or anything like that. I just think it is absolutely stunning. And so much work went into that. and. I think we're both pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get these pages situated here to end off the video, but I hope you guys like these new releases. When you're watching this video, they are probably live. As usual, our mat is ready to ship. So if you do want mat this weekend, I do recommend getting your order in earlier rather than later because I don't want you guys to be disappointed. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any requests for new releases for the future, leave me a comment down below because I read every single one of your comments and I normally reply to every single one too, um, even if it takes me a little while, but <laughs> I really like talking to you guys in the comments. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.